talking about words, because it seems like words are where we get hung up a lot of the time as human beings. Right. What role do you think language, our own language, the languaging that we use on ourselves and on the world around us? Language is, uh, I think it was Wittgenstein that said that things that we have no words for, we pass over in silence. That in our culture, like for instance, one of the best first examples I ever thought of is puppies. When you see a little puppy walking across the floor. Now, if you don't like dogs, this is going to mean nothing to you, but most people kind of like puppies. You know, they're really cute. It's about six weeks old. It's just, and it's walking across the way puppies do, and it's smelling the floor, it hasn't seen you yet. And you know the way puppies walk with their back legs a little faster than their front, so they're always kind of cat or corner? Mm -hmm. And it's smelling the floor, totally caught up in wonder of all these smells that we don't even know what they are. And then you see the puppy and you go, here boy, here boy, and the puppy looks up and goes, it's you! I've been waiting my whole life to find you! And you feel this burst of energy come out of the puppy and this burst of energy leaves you and goes into the puppy and the puppy bounds over and you just want to touch each other more than anything, it feels so good. You know, that burst of energy that goes between you, it's one of the most important things in a human life, but we don't have a word for it in our language. So we can't talk about it. Well, the ancient Athenians had a word for it. They called it asthesis. It's the moment that the exchange of soul essence between you and another living organism in the world outside of you. And for a moment, something leaves your body and enters the puppy and something leaves the puppy's body and enters you. We all do it all the time, but we never talk about it because we've been trained to not understand that we have an interior world anymore. So language is incredibly important, and I've spent much of my life seeking words, seeking ways to talk about experiences we all have every day, but that we pass over in silence because we have no words that we learned in school for them. So I think it's really important right now, more than maybe any time we've ever had, for us to figure out how to talk about all the invisibles that are what make our lives worthwhile and to do so right now as well as we possibly can.